What's a limiting belief you have about yourself that you wish you did not have? Fear of uh, not being loved enough. Fear of not being loved enough. Okay. Fear of not being loved enough. Okay. Now, can you think of a belief that you want to have, which is the opposite of a fear of not being loved enough? Mm, belief of people accepting me. People accepting you or people loving you? Yeah. People accept and love me. <laughs> Good. Could it be that I am lovable? Yes, yes, I am okay. lovable. Okay, excellent. Good. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to get the limiting belief, first of all, a fear of not being loved enough and then I want to get the opposite belief so I know what I'm working with here and the opposite belief is I am lovable see how that's it's just the mirror opposite it's the same logical type a little bit different to Rafika's where I'm afraid public speaking I want to be rich two totally different types of logic so it's got to be on the same logical type okay so Raha as you think about that belief of I, f I'm f I fear of not being loved enough, as you think about not being loved enough, do you have a picture mm -hmm. of what that looks like? Okay, picture. Um, so when you think about that limiting belief of I'm not being loved enough, what's the picture that comes to mind? Um, the, the person that I love left me. Excellent. Good. I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. As you think about that picture of the person that you loved left you, do you have a picture? Have you got it there? Mm -hmm. Good. Is it in black and white or colour? Colour. Colour. Is this picture near or far from you? Near. Near. Is it bright or dim? Dim. And the location, please point to the location. Show me where the location of this memory is. In front of me. Right there? Okay. Front yeah. just near the forehead, is it? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. And what's the size of that picture there? Just describe the size of it to me. The size. It's a life size. It's life a, size. It's a, and it's a person. Excellent. And is it associated? Are you looking through your own eyes or do you see your body in the picture? I can see it from my own eyes. And is it focused or defocused? Focused. Is it changing or steady? Uh, changing. And is it framed or panoramic? Panoramic. Is it a movie or is it a still? Still. And are there any sounds that are important? What's the sound? Sound of harsh words. Okay, what are those harsh words? Saying that I'm I'm not good. Mm -hmm. And where's the location of that sound coming from? From in front, from from that person's mouth to myself. Okay, is that from your front left or from directly in front of you? Directly in front of me. Okay. And the direction is that sound coming towards you or going away from you? Towards. And is it an internal sound inside of your head or external coming from somebody else? External. And is it loud or soft? Loud. And is it fast or slow? Fast. Fast. Excellent. And are there any feelings that are important? What are those feelings? Hurt. What is it? Hurt. Hurt. Okay. And where's the location of that hurt? My chest. Chest. Is there in a specific area of your chest? On my left. Left chest. And what's the size of that hurt on your left chest? It's size... Um Uh, size of um, 
a ball, a football, uh, a ball, a, a ball. round size. A um, ball, like a tennis ball? Yeah. Okay, tennis, tennis ball. ball. And what's the shape of this feeling? It's a square. Square, excellent. And what's the intensity on a scale of 1 to 10? How intense is that hurt? Nine. Excellent. When you're ready, open your eyes. Well done. Good. So I'm eliciting those submodalities. I'm writing them down in column number one. Now I'm moving on to part two. Now, Raha, can you think of a belief which is no longer true? For example, perhaps you used to be a smoker. Someone who was a smoker used to believe they were a smoker, but now they no longer believe that. Or someone who used to own a new car believed they were a new car owner, but now they no longer do. Or perhaps the belief that you are now 18. Do you have a belief like that which used to be true for you, but no longer is? So were you 18 once upon a time? Oh, God. Okay, good. Now, as you think about being 18, do you have a picture? Uh, okay. Okay, is it, a, go. is it a, is it a good me memory? Me Make sure you choose one of those good memories when you're 18. Okay, now as you think mm -hmm. about being 18, what's that picture in your mind? Um, a young, high-spirit person. Young and high spirit, that's just you in the picture there, is it? Mm-hmm. Yep, good. I want to make sure that ex-love is not in that picture. Is that I just you in 18? Yes, it's okay, just me good. alone. When you were young and you were high spirit, good. Now, is that picture in black and white or colour? Colour. Colour. Is it near or far from you? Uh, far. Far. How far away? Show me. But an, an arm, arm length. Arm's length. And is that arm's length arm over length. to the right hand side? Yeah, arm length to the right okay. hand side. And is that picture bright or dim? Bright. And the location, just point to the location of that picture again. Over there on the right hand side, about an arm's length away, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. And the location? Over there, yes. is it? Good. Yes. Okay, and what's the size of the picture? It's a life size. Life size. And is it associated or dissociated? Are you looking through your own eyes or do you see your body in the picture? I see my body inside the picture. Okay, dissociated. And is it focused or defocused? Focused. And is it changing or steady? Steady. And is it framed or panoramic? Panoramic. And is it a movie or is it a still? The movie. Excellent. And are there any sounds there that are important when you're 18 and young and high-spirited? Yeah. The, the happiness, the, the, the happiness, mm -hmm. the looking forward to life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's, what's the sound? Sound of, sound of me laughing. <laughs> ah, good, me laughing, wonderful. And where's the that sound of me laughing? Where's that located? From my body. Which part of your body? Can you point to it for me? My heart, my chest again, but from my heart. Heart. From my heart. Okay, good. Now, the direction of that laughing, is that moving towards you or away from you? Me. And is it an internal sound or an external sound? It's, it's, it's both from inside and outside. Excellent. Just just let me hear that laugh. Do that laugh for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Remember that one. Is it loud or soft? Loud. Fast or slow? Fast. Excellent. And are there any feelings that are important as you're happy and you can hear yourself laughing? Are there any sounds that are important? Any feelings that are important? Feeling of happiness, feeling of uh, warm, feeling of uh, lovable. Happiness, warm, and what was the last one? 
Lovable. Lovable. Wow. Okay. Now, where's that feeling of that happiness, that warm, that lovable feeling? Where's that in the body? Point to it. Yeah. Ah, whereabouts? Just in the chest or whereabouts? All over. <laughs> All over the chest? All over, yeah. All over the chest. Okay. Excellent. I like that smile as well. All over the chest. And what's the size of this feeling? Size of the feeling is like um, a big, uh, how to describe, a big, a big, it, it's like the. It's like a big watermelon, a big huge watermelon. watermelon. Okay, yeah. I, I like watermelon. My dad was a watermelon farmer. Now, the shape of it is it the shape of a watermelon, or is it the shape shape of something else? No, it's oval. Oval. Yeah. Excellent. And the intensity on the scale of one to ten, how intense is it? Ten. That feeling. Oh, good. When you're ready, open the eyes. Good job. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, have a breather for a moment. So I have my submodalities here, ladies and gentlemen, in number one and in columns number two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at the difference that makes the difference. And I'm going to then prepare for my contrastive analysis and then the mapping across. Black and white in color, both are color. Near and far, they're different because one's an arm length away. One's dim, one's bright. The location, one is at the forward the other one is on the right hand side both were life size one was associated the other was dissociated both are focused one's changing one steady it's not a driver so i'm not going to worry about that they're both panoramic however one's a still and one's a movie so i'm going to consider these consider is the key word i'm going to consider that these are my drivers i'm going to go down and have a look at the auditory We've got somebody else's words, and then we have happiness, me laughing. That's different. One is in the front and the mouth. The other one is in coming from somebody else's mouth. The other is in the heart and the chest. The direction is towards, but one is starting inside and going outside. Both are loud, both are fast. Kinesthetics. One was hurt, the opposite was lovable. Now that's really important because it's really opposite to the belief here of that I'm not being loved. Okay, so this is going to work in our favor. So the location was on the chef le left hand side, but this one is all over chest. One's the size of a tennis ball, the other one's the size of a watermelon. One square, the other oval, intensity nine for one, and then ten for the other. So when I'm doing my contrastive analysis, I'm just looking for the differences that make the difference. So we've done part one, we've done part two, and now I'm going to map across the submodalities from number one into number two. Okay? So what we predict is this limiting belief should disappear. Okay, Rafika. Rafika's out of the room at the moment. Okay, Raha, are you ready to rock and roll? Ready to go? So let me ask you, is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to make this change today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yes. Or do you want to keep do you do you want to keep that old belief? Do you want to keep that old belief of having a fear of I'm not loved enough? Do you want to have that? Does that help you, that belief? Does no. it serve you? Is it going to help you achieve your goals? No. Why don't you keep it for another keep it for another year? I think I've kept it long enough. Keep it for another five years. <laughs> have you had enough pain yet? I, I have enough pain. I don't want no. I want. I have enough pain, and I don't want no more pain. So is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to make this change today? Yes. And for you to be aware of it consciously. Excellent. Yes. When you're ready, I'd like you to go ahead and close your eyes and when you close your eyes I want you to bring back to your mind for one last time that old belief of I'm not loved enough and just bring back that old picture to your mind you know with the one where somebody said to your face you're not good enough remember that one 
I just want you to bring back. Let me know when you've got that in your mind. Yeah. Now, I want you to take that picture and I want you to move it all the way over there to the right-hand side. I want you to take it away from the forehead and I want you to move it over there to the right-hand side so it's one arm's length away. Let me know when it's over there to the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now just ask your unconscious mind just to lock that into place over there on the right-hand side. Oh, Mm -hmm. now how does it feel? Better. Better. Excellent. Mm. Good. Good. How much better? A bit better. A bit better. Excellent. Good. And I want you to take that color, and instead of being dim, I want you to make it as bright. The same brightness when you were a high spirited young 18 year old. Meaning the, the one in my forehead, I have to make it color. Yeah, I want you to push it all the way over there to your right-hand side to the same location as that picture was when you were 18, young and Uh high-spirited. And I want you to make it bright, as bright as that picture of when you were high-spirited 18-year-old. Have you done it? I I, I I cannot make it color. (laughs) Why not? Just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and make it colour. It's already colour. You're just making it bright. Instead of being dim, make it bright. Mm, okay. Good, because you said you've right. had enough pain already, correct? Yes. Okay, good. Now that it's bright, how do you feel? Better. Excellent. Good. Just ask your unconscious mind just to lock that into place right there. Mm-hmm. And now I want you to take that picture and I want you to make it Life size. Make sure it's life size. And I want you to step outside of that picture so you can see your body in the picture. Okay. Excellent. Now ask your unconscious mind just to lock that into place just there. Now Mm -hmm. how do you feel? Much better. Much better. Excellent. Good. And I want you to take that picture from being a still and I want you to give it some movement and I want you to make it into a movie. Let me know once you've turned it into a movie. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Good. Just ask your unconscious mind to lock that into place. Just leave it as a movie. All right. Excellent. Now, how do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> I move away from that. Excellent. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And now I want you to bring that happiness sound in. Just start to laugh. Start to laugh as if as you were that high-spirited 18 year old that high spirited 18 year old i want you to bring that laugh from the chest right there in the heart up through the chest do that laugh for me now (laughs) do the laugh do it louder because it was louder than that do it again (laughs) and i want you to have that sound coming from inside to outside do it again do that laughter that happiness sound of you laughing do it again Ah, excellent. Do it one more time. That innocence of an 18-year-old who's high-spirited. Do it one more time. Excellent. Just ask your unconscious mind just to lock that into place right there. Now how do you feel? I can start feel some, some happy feeling. Excellent. And now I want you to bring that happiness, that lovable feeling, all over your chest. I want you to bring that happiness, that warm, that lovable feeling all over your chest. And I want you to make that feeling big, a nice big oval feeling. Let me know once you've got it there. That lovable feeling. Is it there? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. And what's the intensity at the moment out of 10? What is it? 10. 10. Oh, excellent. If it's a 10, I want you to crank it up to an 11. Make it 11. Make yourself more lovable. Mm, Yeah. Excellent. Now I want you to take it from 11 and crank it up to a 12. So you feel more lovable. And that'll have one of those little 18-year-old high-spirited laughs all the way from inside to out. Do a little laugh for me. (laughs) 
Excellent. Just ask your unconscious mind to lock that into place there right now. Yes. Now how do you feel? Better. I feel much happier. Excellent. Excellent. Open the eyes. Wow. Now with your sensory acuity, ladies and gentlemen, can you see the shift? Can you see it? Big difference. Excellent. Now just out of curiosity, Raha, now what do you think about that old belief? It can just, it's not there. Yeah. It, was, it was here in the forehead. Now it's not there. Excellent. Well done. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. Now, can you think of a belief which for you is absolutely true? For example, the belief that the sun is going to come up tomorrow. Do you believe that the sun is going to come up tomorrow? Yeah. Excellent. Definitely. Excellent. Inshallah. Good. Inshallah. Now, as you think about that, that the sun's going to come up, that belief that the sun's going to come up tomorrow, do you have a picture of that? Yeah. Excellent, good. Now, what's the picture of? Tell me what the picture is. The picture of me getting my NLP certification. Okay. Now, I want you to go to the belief of the sun's coming up. So I know that you're going to get your certificate, but I want you to have a picture of that belief that the sun's going to come up tomorrow. As you think about the sun coming up tomorrow... What's the picture Mm of? Sunrise. Excellent. Good. Now I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. And as you think about that sunrise, is this picture in black and white or color? Color. Is this picture near or far from you? Near. Excellent. And is it bright or dim? Bright. And the location, just show me the location. In front of me, how... In in one arm's length. Excellent. One arm's length. And what's the size of that picture of the sun coming up? That belief. It's the size of the whole the whole wall in front of me. The whole world? Wall. The wall. The whole wall. Hmm. Excellent. The whole wall. W-A-L-L. Okay, excellent. And are you looking through your own eyes or do you see your body in the picture? Uh, I can see from my own eyes. Excellent. And is it focused or defocused? Focused. Is it changing or steady? Steady. Is it framed or panoramic? Panoramic. Is it a movie or is it a still? A movie. Excellent. And are there any sounds that are important with that belief? Yes. What's the sound? Sound of bird, bird singing. Excellent. Sound of, yeah. Good. And where's the location of those birds singing? Where's that sound coming from? Around me. Around, Around 360 me. degrees or just in the front? In front. In front, around in front. Excellent. And the direction is the sound moving towards you or away from you? Towards me. Excellent. And is it an internal sound or an external sound? External. And is it loud or soft? Loud. Fast or slow? Fast. And are there any feelings that are important with that belief that the sun's coming up tomorrow and those birds singing? Feeling of uh, a cheery, a cheer, uh, a cheerful feeling. Cheerful feeling, excellent. And where do you feel that cheerful feeling? Here. In the chest, excellent. On my heart. On your heart, wow, excellent. And what's the size of that feeling there on your heart? That cheerful feeling. It's like a heart shape. Heart shape, wonderful. And the size of it? What's the size of it? Size of a football. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, excellent. And the intensity on a scale of 1 to 10, that cheerful feeling? 9. 9 out of 10. Excellent. And when you're ready, go ahead and open the eyes. Excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, I've just elicited 
those submodalities in column number four. Okay, so they are over there in column number four. Now, when you're ready, Raha, can you think of a belief that you want to have? Remember that one we said before, I am lovable. Mm-hmm. Can you think of that? Good. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you to go ahead and I want you to close your eyes. Okay. And as you think about that belief of I am lovable, what's that picture that comes to mind? Picture of me with my son. Excellent. Picture of me, yeah. Excellent. And I want you to take that picture and I want you to adjust the colors so they're the same colors of the color of your sunrise. And I want you to bring that picture near. So it's just in front of you and the size of the wall. The whole wall. Mm -hmm. And I want you to step into that picture so you're looking through your own eyes. (laughs) And now have that picture as a movie. And just ask your unconscious mind just to lock That into place right there. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel? Um, I feel such. Excellent. And I want you to bring in that sound of the birds singing and have it there around you in front of your face and having Mm -hmm. that bird singing, that sound coming towards you. And just ask your unconscious mind just to lock those sounds into place right there. Now, how do you feel? Lighter. Lighter. Excellent. Feeling lovable? Yes. Excellent. And now I want you to bring that cheerful feeling. I want you to bring that cheerful feeling into your chest, right there into your heart. Mm -hmm. And I want you to increase the size of that cheerful feeling to the size of a football. And I want you to increase the intensity all the way up to a 9 out of 10. Okay. And just ask your unconscious mind just to lock that feeling into place right now. Okay. Now how do you feel? Happy. Excellent. Good. Yeah. And when you're ready, come back to now. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, let me check in. Now, what do you believe, Raha? What do you believe? I believe I am lovable. (laughs) Why do you believe you have this new belief? Because uh, the old belief has been been thrown away (laughs) excellent well done well done good job good job excellent thank you very much no thank you you did the hard work top job excellent good job